in this video we are going to discuss about physical layer so what is a physical layer and what are its functions this layer deals with physical transmission medium that means physical transmission medium or physical communication medium is dealt in this layer it activates maintains and deactivates the physical link that means it activates maintain and deactivate the physical link between two devices if you consider host and switch as an example essentially this layer puts the data on the physical media as bits and receives it in the same way so it receives bits and also sends bits in the same way so if you consider in data link layer frames are received and sent throughout it so when it receives or send data from data link layer the frames are segregated into bits so all these bits all together after receiving our entire data these bits are segregated and forms into a single file so the piece of bit of data which is transferred all through the layers is called pdu protocol data unit this protocol data unit is uh, in a piece of bit it is called as segments in transport layer and it's called as packets in network layer and frames in data link layer and bits in physical layer and this pdu consists of a data file which has header and footer so when it receives in the, in the form of bits here based on header and footer it will merge all the file into a single file and you know about hub and hub works at this layer as you know hub is the main device that works in this layer so we will be looking into data encapsulation so what is data encapsulation so data encapsulation works here as examining processing of the data and also encapsuling that means a combined small small bits are encapsulated into a bigger large bit you can see data and in the layer 7 it is pdu protocol data unit is maintained and send it through the layers by definition if you go with data encapsulation the process of examining processing and removing the header is known as decapsulation so encapsulation and decapsulation are done in the physical layer so that the data is secured and in the form of bits it has it can combine and segregate them into the single large file so in the next videos we will be discussing about tcp ip reference model and its layers